Hello, this is Bo from WorkingHandsFree.com. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use your iPhone hands-free with voice control. If you currently can't use your hands due to an injury or disability, I'd suggest that you ask a friend or family member to print out this summary of all instructions and commands we will be covering today. Even if you can use your hands, I would still suggest downloading this PDF from the description link of this video so you can follow along during the video. You can also click the settings icon of this YouTube video or ask a friend to help you do so to slow down the video playback speed. So now let's get started with using your phone hands-free. The first step is to turn on voice control in settings. So first I'm gonna click on settings, then I'm gonna scroll down to accessibility and next, I'm going to click on voice control, and I'm going to make sure that that is toggled on. Now you'll notice that little numbers show up. To get these numbers to show up, use the show numbers command or the show numbers continuously command. I would recommend the show numbers continuously command so that the numbers are always showing up and you can click on anything continuously to navigate throughout the screens. Hide numbers. You can also use the hide numbers command at any time to hide the numbers. Show numbers continuously. Now you'll notice that the numbers show up and to click on them you can either say the number itself or you can say tap and then the name of the number. For example, tap 2. Eleven. Tap 2. Swipe down, swipe up. You can use these swipe commands to navigate amongst the screens. Six. Next, I'm gonna show you the go home command, which you can use to go back to the home screen no matter where you're at. Go home. Next, we are going to show you how to open an application. You can either use the tap numbers command or you can say the name of the number shown for the application, or you can just say open and the name of the application. I prefer open and the name of the application because you can use that no matter where you're at. However, the tap numbers commands are sometimes more reliable if you don't know the name of the application. For example, tap two, go home. Two, go home. Open settings. Go home. Open camera. Go home. Now you'll notice that I was able to open the camera application even though the camera application is not shown on the screen. Swipe left. As you can see, the camera application is on this other screen. Swipe right. So the reason why I prefer the open and then the name of the application command is because no matter where I'm at at my iPhone, I can open the application. If there is a section of the screen that is difficult to click on with the show numbers command, for example, tap and then the name of the number, you can use the show grid command. For example, show grid, tap six, go home. You can also zoom in further, show grid, six, three, Tap two, go home. To unlock your iPhone hands-free, you have two options. Either A, remove the passcode altogether, or B, set a custom voice command like open sesame to unlock your passcode. If you'd like to go the easier route and remove your passcode altogether for easy hands-free phone unlock, first you go to settings, then you go to touch ID and passcode, or it may be called face ID and passcode in your settings. Tap 13. Next, you enter your current passcode. Then select the turn passcode off option. Swipe up. Five. Tap three. Now my passcode is off. Lastly, type your current passcode again to verify. Here is a demonstration of how to unlock the iPhone after turning off the passcode.
Hey Siri. Wake up. Go home. If you'd like to unlock your iPhone hands-free, but still want a passcode for security, here are the steps to get it set up. It's more complex to set up, but it does ensure a stranger who picks up your phone can't immediately unlock it. So first to do this, we are going to click on Settings. Open Settings. Swipe up. Next, we're going to click on Accessibility. Six. Next, we will click on Voice Control. Tap 13. Next, we're going to click on Customize Commands. Five. We're going to click on Custom. Five. And next, we're going to create our new command. Tap 12. Next, we're going to enter our custom phrase here that will open or unlock our iPhone. Go to sleep. When I talk, it will enter the text that I spoke into the iPhone. Note that it can be really annoying when other people are talking in the room because it can start putting random words into your text entry. To stop this momentarily, or essentially pause and unpause voice control, you can use the go to sleep and wake up commands as I have just used. Next, I'm going to use the wake up command to correct the text that I have messed up. Wake up. Select all. Delete that. Open Sesame. Go to sleep. Now you'll notice that I used the select all and the delete all or delete that command. This can be really useful when you want to correct the text that you have typed. We also have videos on our YouTube channel showing how to correct text in more specific ways. For example, specific words. You can also use the enter that command to enter a search phrase when using Safari to browse the web, for example. And remember, you don't need to write down any of these commands since they are all listed in the PDF in this video's description link and on our website if you forget. Now I will continue on to create the action. Wake up. Five. Next, run a custom gesture. Before you do this, I would highly suggest going back to the lock screen of your iPhone and practice typing in your passcode. While you do this, I would suggest taking little pieces of tape and taping them right next to the numbers that you will be typing in for your passcode so that you remember the exact locations for your custom gesture. Tap 4. Next, you will type in your current passcode. For example, 1234. Now, as you could see, it would have been very useful to have little pieces of tape on the screen so you know exactly where to tap. One, two, three, four. Next, you will click save. Tap three. Now, we will save the command. Tap two. Tap save. Now, we are all good to go. When we say open sesame, the iPhone will open at the passcode screen. Go home. Next, we are going to test out our new iPhone passcode phrase at login. First, I'm going to lock the screen. Lock screen. Next, we are going to say, Hey Siri. Go home. Open Sesame. If you were able to unlock successfully, skip ahead in this video to the next section on opening the control center. If you had troubles, I will walk you through troubleshooting steps. I just showed you a demo for iPhone 7, but here's a demo for the iPhone SE. Notice the importance of saying the wake up command. Hey Siri. Wake up. Go home. Open Sesame. Now we are going to tap OK. Tap 11. Note that this will only work for a five digit passcode or less. If you have a six plus digit passcode, you will have to actually change your passcode for this to work. You can either ask a family member or a friend to help you do this. Unfortunately, there's no other way unless you have a passcode that's five or fewer digits. 
Now, if you tried that and it's still not working, maybe Siri didn't wake up the screen or a voice control didn't respond. Make sure you have the following enabled. First, go to settings, then go to accessibility, tap eight. Then go to voice control, not voiceover, swipe up. Next, click on voice control here, tap four, and make sure that the voice control toggle button is on. Go back. Go back. Also, make sure Siri settings are enabled. Swipe down. Swipe down. Tap one. Siri. Tap six. As you can see, we have this always listen for Hey Siri toggle button on. Lastly, I'm going to show you a couple of other things. Open Control Center. Go Home. Open App Switcher. Swipe up. Swipe left. Swipe right. You can use the swipe up and swipe left and swipe right commands to navigate within the App Switcher. Go Home. If you want to learn more, please check out the videos on our YouTube channel. We have videos to show you how to send messages, including WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and any other messaging app on your iPhone. We also have videos showing how to browse the web, including Safari and Chrome iPhone apps. For example, we will show you how to open new web pages, navigate unclickable sections of web pages, and also, we will show you how to use Slack, Gmail applications, Task, and Notes apps, and Calendar. We also have a playlist of videos for how to use a Mac and Windows computer hands-free. Lastly, we take custom requests for new videos you'd like us to make next. Please visit us at workinghandsfree.com to submit your custom request. We also offer customer review videos of mice, keyboards, and face-controlled or eye-controlled mice to use hands-free. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel playlists for more tips and tricks on how to work hands-free. Thank you so much for your time, and good luck on using your iPhone hands-free.